Keeping safe in the sun means more than just hydrating and taking breaks. There are real sun dangers, and we have asked Doctor of Nursing Felice Carlton to join us <laughs> once again with some timely reminders to help our skin stay safe when the temperatures climb. And we are so glad you're here I'm again. I'm so glad to be here. Such a pleasure. Now, you are a doctor, so we talk about the science behind taking care of our skin, mm -hmm. and it's not just for the cosmetic look Absolutely. of it at all. Yeah, so in terms of the scientific perspective, there are so many people who are at risk for sun complications. Um, people think about the skin part of it, they forget about things like their eyes. People who do not wear 100% UV protective sunglasses are at very high risk of developing cataracts. I actually had a patient who was only in their 30s that had to have cataracts removed. That's, so, that's really serious. So, <laughs> it's very serious. And, and we're not talking about drugstore sunglasses or will those work? Well, if it's 100% UV protective, that is the okay. most important thing to make sure though, because you know, the sun rays is actually radiating going into your eyes so you want to protect them for the long haul for sure and, and it's not mm -hmm. just sunglasses too maybe hats yeah, absolutely hats um, in the shade definitely making sure that you limit your sun exposure from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. that's when the sun is absolutely at the highest level for sure so it's almost a layered approach of being protective you know obviously staying hydrated as well but making sure that the time that you spend in the sun is time that you are protected reapplying your sunscreen every two hours especially if you're sweating yeah and that's one of the things that you know mm -hmm. as parents we do for our kids but a lot of times we forget to do it to ourselves and that's you know that's dangerous now we're not just concerned about the wrinkles mm -hmm. there's also moles and that's a real fear mm -hmm. how do we know which moles might be suspect and we might need to take care of them. Is there, is there yeah. an easy way to do that? Absolutely. So I teach my patients a very simple mnemonic called the ABCs of skin cancer. So if people can remember A, B, C, D, E, that can help them to identify if their moles are suspicious um, and need treatment immediately. So A stands for asymmetrical. If you take your mole, put an imaginary line in the middle, does it look exactly the same on both sides? Okay. B stands for irregular borders. A mole should be smooth, round, circular, oval shaped. If you're your mole has indistinct borders. If it's frayed, if it's jagged, that's a red flag. Also, um, C stands for color. So moles should be the same, whether it's flesh color, light brown, dark brown, whatever color it is. But if you're noticing that there are black spots and different colors in your mole, that's concerning. D stands for diameter. Is the diameter of your mole larger than a pencil eraser? If it is, that's something that definitely needs to be evaluated. E stands for evolving. So is your mold changing over time, whether that's shape, size, color, characteristics? So people have asymmet asymmetry, irregular borders, different colors, large diameter are evolving over time, that's something that a dermatologist needs to evaluate immediately. And especially if it's in your hairline or Absolutely. on your back in a place where you can't readily mm -hmm. see it, Absolutely. especially if you live alone. Ears. And you have some mm -hmm. horror stories of people who ignored moles that they yeah. shouldn't have. Unfortunately. So I have a case I'll never forget. Um, this lady has had skin cancer in the past, but it was caught so early, she never really took a particular mole serious. So I came, she came to me and I mentioned the importance of really going to dermatology. Her lesion was maybe about this size, so it was larger than this, um, the pencil eraser mm -hmm. and she had what I call the iceberg effect so on the outside it appeared that her mole was small but when they went to do surgery uh, the cancer had spread to her jaw her teeth her gums her eyes her eye sockets and she actually had to have half of her face removed because she ignored us um, you know ignored the signs that she'd been educated on so it can be extremely serious if we mm -hmm. if we do ignore dr. Carlton mm -hmm. thank you so much for thank being with so us much. it's always a pleasure to always have a you pleasure here. to see you thank you